Smack's food and nutrition videos. Um, now, if you think you're in for how to make the best chocolatey brownies, I'm afraid you're going to be uh, a, bit, a bit disappointed. Um, Miss Mac's food and nutrition videos are going to be about exactly that. How we refuel our bodies, how food relates to our performance and our sport. So as athletes, which all of you are, um, replacing the fluids that are lost during exercise or during sport, so when you play your matches, um, is really important to try and replace after those matches or the exercise that we do. Along with fluids, we've got all those nutrients that need to be replaced. So, as you probably learnt in science, you need to repair your muscles. Okay, Your muscles are working really hard during that exercise, so your food has a really important role to play in replacing and repairing our muscles, keeping our bones nice and strong. Um, if we don't, then our body becomes very tired, you might get injured more easily, um, and you don't have the same intensity or the same energy for your next workout. So after exercise, you have this 30 to 60 kind of minute window after you exercise, which is really important to try and get that nutrients or, or that little snack or food into your body. And that doesn't mean grab the nearest chocolate bar, it means something needs to be put in that's maybe got a bit of protein in, a bit of carbohydrate, um, and that goes straight to your muscles and really helps you to recover. So one of our little sneaky ingredients that is often overlooked is milk. Okay, Milk is probably one of the best recovery drinks you can have after exercise. It's got your protein in, your carbohydrates, your minerals and your vitamins and, and a little bit of good fat. Okay, so today, really simple, we're going to make a recovery smoothie. Now, you can be quite adventurous or, or selective with what you put in this, but the basics need to be milk. So you need to put that milk in, however much you're going to make. Martin's just done his run, so he's waiting upstairs patiently for his recovery smoothie. I'm going to add in some nice Greek yoghurt, just to make it a bit thicker. Um, and I love Greek yogurt. Okay, peanut butter. In this house, peanut butter is a good thing. So we're gonna get a nice big spoonful of that in there. Again, you don't have to add these things. You add what you, you like, as long as it's not, you know, just chocolate. Okay, um, these little bad boys, chia seeds or chia seeds, are good, are good for recovery as well. Um, we're gonna put a few of them in. Again, if you don't have these, don't worry. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sweetness there. Um, Martin loves a bit of banana, so we're going to chuck some banana in there. Banana is really good for refueling, also for energy before sport as well. Okay. Frozen berries we're going to use. A little bit cheaper than getting fresh fruit all the time, but berries especially, a bit of a superfood as well. Really full of those nutrients and minerals. Now, porridge oats. Little sprinkling of these. These are going to have your carbohydrate in. So what's going to give you or replace that energy that has been lost. Okay, might just add a bit more milk because I think that's going to be quite thick. And we're going to put pop the top back on. Pop the top on this. All that goodness. Onto the whizzer, whizzer, whizzer. Ready? Oh, oh not on. Haha. Let's go again. post-exercise drink. Mm, it's pretty good. Might add a bit of honey actually for a bit more sweetness, but yeah, I like that. Okay, so kids, go and make your first smoothie. Um, and let me know.